Well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? You look amazing. Raking up me. He uh, forced me to go to this swanky restaurant and then insisted we stay at this five-star hotel. Get us a coffee, will you? It's exhausting being this clamorous. Oh, you poor child. Go on, sit yourself down. Well, I thought that was you or so. Why are you dressed like a dog's dinner? Didn't you know? I'm the new lollipop lady. I thought this suited me better than the high vis jacket. Yeah, whatever. I'm trying to get hold of you all morning. Why? Because of Charlie, obviously. She didn't make a move on you the night, did she? Well, of course not, no. Well, you have told her she has to do one. Well, not exactly. Not exactly. Well, she's only going to got a job at the Rovers, hasn't she? Shut up. Yeah. And she's not about to stay in there. Tim. It's not my fault. But you do know she's going to tell the world and it's stopped that you and her are <sighs> itched. Yeah, why do you think I'm having kittens? <sighs> right, well, well when, when's Sal back? I don't know, a week, a few days? <sighs> Fine, just leave it with me. Well, what are you going to do? I haven't got a clue. But first, I need to take these heels off. All right, well, I better go. <sighs> I'll, I'll see you later. Right, there you go. Hypothetically speaking, if you'd had a thing with a bloke and he'd got a job on the street... Had a thing? Well, like a meaningless fling. Or accidentally married. But he wouldn't leave. How would you get rid of him? Well, you, you could always try getting him the sack. Right, let me do the talking. Uh, pints and a cider, please. <laughs> Charlie on today. Oh, she's upstairs having a mooch about. Rita's giving her a guided tour. She definitely hasn't decided to take the room then. No, not yet, no, but uh, instinct tells me that she will. I'm a very good judge of character like that. Well, I think it's great what you're doing. How do you mean exactly? Showing so much trust in her. Some landladies in a, you know, the more um, the more rigorous thing to take on. Are you saying I'm not rigorous? Well, you can't always tell about people. Take this barmaid I used to know. I think she was a, a trolley dolly in a former life. Anyway, they had to uh, they had to get rid of her because she was she was light fingered. You seen Charlie's a thief? No, of course she's not. Ah, yes, she's out. Did you find her? Oh, it's perfect. I'll take it. See? What did I tell you? You do realise you'll never be able to get rid of me now. Oh, oh, hello. Should we have to be job next? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. I only recognised you. Ah, uh, swap my lipstick for a dipstick. Well, I like it. Hey, I wanted to ask, how did you get on shaking off that hypothetical ex of yours? What's this? Oh. Well, she's just asked you about a hypothetical ex. Oh, that, no, I was, no, I was, I was only messing. Nothing hypothetical about my exes. Although, I suppose, Tim, you're hey, the pulling closest... pulling that pie, then what? Charmed, I'm sure. Good <laughs> word. Uh... What's all that about? Didn't tell her any names. Saying Charlie was light fingered. Well, you want to get rid of it, don't you? Not like that, I don't know. Well, fine. Let's see if you're still saying that when Sally gets back and Charlie dobs you into the police. Who wants a cup of tea? Tea? You was two hours late. Oh, come on, I was late and all. Yeah, but you phoned up and you wasn't late the other week. So I can't have a cup of tea? You please yourself. You usually do. Fine. Nice one. You're not the only folk with problems, you know. Last thing I need is you two going at it all day. Half day. The time she rolled in. Hey, hello. 